this video we're going to be looking at area between curves. Now I'm going to assume you know how to integrate and also work out area under curves because you need to know how to do that for this video. So here we've got a question and we need to work out this shaded area. Now there's two methods to do it. There's one I call the shapes method and there's the really simple one where it gives you the area between the curve straight away. Let's look at the shapes method first. So here you can see that you can split this area into a trapezium and also just look at the area under the curve. Now if you get that trapezium and the area under the curve and subtract them, we're left with the area which we need to work out. So we'll go on to try to work out the area of the trapezium and the area under the curve you should be able to do. You simply integrate the curve between the x limits. Okay, so let's start with working out the area of the trapezium. You should know the formula to work out the area of the trapezium. It's just a plus b over 2 times h. So the parallel lengths we can work out by looking at the y coordinates. So we have 16 and we have a length of 11. Now h is going to be the distance between these parallel sides. And that we can get from looking at the x values on the two points. And the difference between the x values is simply 5. And we can go ahead and work out the area of the trapezium and we get 67.5. Now we're going to work out the area under the curve. Now if you're not sure how to do this, you need to go back to my video on area underneath curves and do that first. Okay, so we're going to integrate the curve between the limits 5 and 0. Of course, we integrate by adding 1 to the power and dividing the number in front by that new power. And that's our integration done. Now we have to apply these limits 5 and 0. And remember, we apply them by putting 5 into this new expression. And we subtract that by putting 0 into the new expression. But of course, we know if we put 0 in here, we're just going to get 0 because everything's just going to disappear. And you can put this into your calculator and we get 140 over 3. Now to get that area between the graphs, we simply subtract these areas we just worked out. And we get 125 over 6. And that's the area between the graphs, the shaded area. Now next we're going to work out the same area using the subtraction method. And it's a little bit quicker. However, you really need to know both methods. So please don't ignore one of the methods. Okay, so how do we do this? We first identify which graph is on top on the shaded region. And it's the equation of the line which is on top. So what we do is we do the equation of the line, subtract the equation of the curve. So to know which way you do the subtraction, which goes first, it's the graph which is on top over the shaded region, which goes first. So we have the minus x plus 16 minus the equation of the curve. And we can simplify that down. Now here comes the magic. After you've done the subtraction, your result, you want to integrate that result. And you want to integrate it with the limits 5 and 0. So inside the integration, we haven't got any of the graphs. We've just got the subtraction of the line minus the curve. And we're integrating that. And now we're going to use our limits. We're going to put 5 in minus putting 0 in. Of course, we know putting 0 in is going to give us 0 here. And bingo, we've got the same answer as before. 125 over 6. Okay, so I'm not going to work out this example, but I'm just going to talk about it. So I wanted to show this example because you need to realize that you can't always use both methods. And looking at this shaded region, you can see the shapes method will be very tricky here. But using that subtraction method will be much easier. And how do you do that subtraction method? We do the graph on top of the shaded region minus the graph below the shaded region. 
Now, which graph is on top of the shaded region? This time it's the curve. And the line y equals 2x is below the shaded region. So we're going to do the curve, which is y equals 5 minus 4x minus x squared. Subtract the line, because that's below here. And once we do that subtraction and simplify it, we're going to integrate this result. And the limits will be where they intersect here in this case, the x values of a and b. Now, I'm not going to complete this question because I don't want to make the video too long. However, if you wanted to work out the points a and b, you'll do simultaneous equations to work them out. And you simply put the x limits in and you integrate that. And if you've got the newer calculators, you can just throw that into your calculator and it'll work out for you. And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.